Welcome to part two of our mini mega mud truck build with the Traxxas TRX4M high trail. In the first video we fitted the RC or wheel drive pole axles, made a huge difference to ground clearance. So next thing is we need big tyres. We have gone for the Endura 70mm Swamp Claw tyres on their 1.3 inch aluminium wheels. Wheels are like 28 grams, tyres are 19 grams. You know, they're not very heavy, but obviously for this, we're not really going for weight. We just want big tyres so we can plough through that mud. So I've already made up three of the wheels. So let's check out this last one, see what they're like, chuck them on the rig, and then let's go find some mud and do some mudding. So the wheels come in the tyres, but they're not assembled. So there's your aluminium wheel, 28 grams of wheel, like I said. You've got this kind of fake stud pattern going around the outside. You've got your Endura stamped in a ring, you know, really light wheel. And then you've got the Endura Swamp Claw tyres. This is using their S5 compound, really, really sticky and soft tyre. You can see the foams in them are really, really soft and, you know, super sticky. I've already ran their 64mm Swamp Claws and the 56mm Swamp Claws and I really like them. I think they're awesome on the rocks and I think they're brilliant in the mud. So really looking forward to seeing what these perform like on the Mini Mega Mud Truck. Really nice tread pattern, that's going to be brilliant for ploughing through the mud. Nice side lugs and everything on there as well. With these 1.3 inch wheels from Endure as well, they are vented so you can hear that they're vented. So obviously that's not going to be so great for the mud because obviously the foams are going to get all waterlogged and then ruined eventually. But what we will do is I think because they are vented, I just want to see how they perform on the rocks as well. So what we might do is do a quick rock test and then we'll go out and hit some mud. I'm going to be changing the foams anyway, so I'm not massively bothered if I kill the foams, but at least we can see what they perform like if you're planning on running them vented. Look at that. That is more like it. And uh, Wayne from Crawlstock RC, if you're watching, three fingers in there. Now you're having a good time. But look at that. <laughs> that just looks awesome. Now that is looking like a mega truck. And they're one of the biggest tyres you can get for a mini crawler. And they just look awesome. They suit the rig so well. The black and the bit of silver, I just think, goes really well with the actual rig itself. And uh, obviously with the pole axles, we've still got full clearance on our arches, so we're not going to get any rubbing, which is really, really cool. That is just awesome. So let's give it a quick try on the rocks, just so we can see what those vented 70mm tyres are like, because I'm intrigued to see what they're like being vented, because all the other swamp claws I've ran have been sealed, because I've ran them with the Endura brass wheels. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, uh, <laughs> it's very top heavy. <laughs> Awesome grip on these tyres though, I mean considering look how wet these rocks are as well, it's just bossing it, this is like getting up there no problem at all. So that was awesome. Let's see if we can get this bit. Oh, you can see it's, uh, yeah, very high center of gravity. But I really like these tires. I think the swamp claws are brilliant. Let's see if we can get that without tipping over. Nice bit of squish on the tyres. Oh, there you go. Look, you can see with them being vented just how squishy they are. But yeah, it's uh, 
<laughs> Very top heavy. Looks awesome. I'm loving the look with these wheels and tires on it. But yeah, just to really show you just like how sticky the tires are, you know, I mean, even considering how wet these rocks are, you know, it's doing it with ease. But right, let's go find some mud. Let's go do some mudding and see if this mini mega mud truck is uh, even better now with these 70 mil swamp claws. Okay, we've got a nice swampy bit here that we can give it a try on. It did really well here before on the stock tyres, to be fair. I was quite surprised how much it managed to push through the mud, or even on the stock tyres. So yeah, it's really interesting to see what it's going to be like on the swamp claws now. I would hope that it'll be even better than it was before. But, let's get some mud. I am happy with that, that is really cool. We got one more bit of the mud bog to try, but that is doing really well. It's getting buried in there, isn't it? That's quite an ask for it to get through there, to be honest. Even a one-tenth would struggle to get through with it being that boggy. You know, that was quite an ask to get out of there. You know, these tyres, I'm really liking these tyres through the mud. They're performing really well. Obviously, you know, I haven't sealed them, so the phone's probably going to be trashed, but we're going to be trying some different tyres as well soon anyway, just to see if there's even better tyres we could run in the mud. Yeah, I think what this thing is lacking now is power. It needs more power and more wheel speed to be able to power through the mud. Whereas at the moment it's so slow, you know, it's just getting stuck and it hasn't quite got the grunt to get out. That's the one thing I found with my um, 10th scale TRX4. You know, having it brushless, you could just power through stuff. So I think that's going to be stage three for this is brushless for more power. But overall, I'm really happy. You know, these tyres are fantastic on the rocks. For the second stage of the mini mega mud truck build, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks awesome. And yeah, it's definitely performing much better. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, give us a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.